Thanks for checking out Firefox. Let's get started with a quick tour of how to use some of its basic features. One of the first things people like to do is to set their home page. In Firefox, it's easy. Just drag your favorite site's icon to the home button. Click yes and you're all set. Bookmarking sites is just as easy. Click the star in the location bar and you're done. Click it again and you can file it or add tags to make finding things easy. And speaking of finding things easily, we like to call Firefox's location bar the awesome bar because when you start to type in the name or address of a website, it finds it for you in an instant and the things that you've bookmarked or tagged are highlighted, making them easy to spot. And Firefox has a built-in search bar so you can search the web. Want to use a different kind of search? No problem. Just click and change your search engine. Tabs are great for keeping your screen clutter-free and making it easy to switch between sites. To make a new tab, click the New Tab button. And Firefox also has great ways to manage your tabs. App Tabs let you keep your favorite web apps like Facebook, Gmail, or Twitter open in just a click away. To create an App Tab, right-click on the tab and select Pin as App Tab from the menu. And when you find yourself juggling a lot of tabs, you can use tab groups to keep them organized. To create a group, click the All Tabs button and select Tab Groups. Then, just drag tabs on top of one another to create a new group. Click on a tab and you'll see just the tabs in that group. Firefox will even add this handy button to your toolbar so you can quickly switch to another group. Let's say you want to shop for a present and you don't want Firefox to spoil the surprise by keeping a list of websites that you visit. This is the perfect time to use private browsing. To start, click the Firefox button and select Start Private Browsing. And while you're doing things online, like using your credit card, you can use Firefox's color-coded system to check on suspicious sites and avoid scams. Just click the Site Identity button. A green button indicates that your connection is secure and that the owners of the website have been verified. And with Firefox's Do Not Track feature, you can tell websites that you don't want your browsing behavior tracked. Just click on the Firefox button, open the Options window, and click on the Advanced panel. Then check Tell Websites I Do Not Want to Be Tracked. Add-ons are like apps that you install to add bells and whistles to Firefox. You can get add-ons that compare prices, check the weather, listen to music, or update your Facebook page. You can even get personas, which lets you easily personalize the look of your Firefox. To get started, Click on the Firefox button and open the Add-ons Manager. There, you can browse or search through thousands of add-ons. See something you like? Just click Add to Firefox. Firefox Sync lets you securely access your history, bookmarks, tabs, and passwords across all of your devices. Click on the Firefox button, select Set up Sync, and create an account. Then, grab another Firefox-connected device like a work computer or even an Android phone and add it to your account. You'll have access to all of your personal data, even your open tabs. Keeping everything up to date is an important part of keeping Firefox and your computer running in top shape. And while Firefox is configured to automatically check for updates, you can always make sure you have the latest by going to the Firefox button, down to the Help menu, and selecting About Firefox. And don't forget to check those plugins like Flash, QuickTime, and Silverlight. The Mozilla plugin check page makes that easy. Just go to mozilla.com slash plugin check and follow the instructions. Well, that's been a quick overview of Firefox. To learn more or to get help, go to support.mozilla.com.